a warm and hearty good morning to one and all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dali Belrose. Stay tuned for more. Welcome to Dali Sewing Services. I just want to pitch picture my design today. <laughs> um, I've had this design for like a year and I only got to wear it twice because I've gained a little weight. Yes, I did. <laughs> in my arms, in my hip, sorry, in my waist, in my hip, and um, I don't know, it just couldn't fit. So I had a day, I forgot it there, and I picked it up last week, I believe, or two weeks ago. Time flying so fast these days because of the whole corona, and I readjusted it, and I decided I wanted to share with you today. So I think I got this inspiration from Ankara fashion. I was looking at something and um, I, I really can't remember. And what I noticed is that um, the top, I think it was a bodice, it had two different colors hair. So I added my own little twist to it. I decided to sew a suit for work. And of course, um, I always wear sleeves. You will never see me in a sleeveless dress. You will always find me in um, something a little more modest than modest than what we define as modest. I love my arms and shoulders covered and I all, I'm always wearing something under my knees. So everything I do, that in all things, God may be glorified. So here I am today. Um, I chose maroon because I had this fabric hair first. I don't know if you want to call it Ankara. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's kind of polyester. It's kind of Ankara too. I just wanted to do a little mix. I had this first, this piece of fabric first, and I was wondering what could go well, what solid color can I select to go really well with this? And, um, I saw I had maroon laying around and when I placed both of them together, I felt they went really, really well. So the second step was thinking of what I wanted. And um, I always love something pet plumey. I love pet plumes. <laughs> so I decided to um, put this side and the sleeves matching together. Then I placed the piece of maroon at the end. And here, because it was a maroon solid color, I did the sleeves as well and then opposed it with this color hair. Now for the skirt, I wasn't sure. So hmm, I decided instead of just putting the two together, why don't I add a little twist to it? You know, why don't I make it more interesting? So that's how I came up with the two polyester material on the sides. And then I put the maroon in the middle there, add a little twist to it. Um, for the end of this, originally that wasn't the style. However, when I did it, I felt it was too short. Sitting down, my skirt was rolling up and it was a bit uncomfortable to, for me. Like I said, I love, I love to comfortably cover myself. That's just how I am. So then I decided to add the maroon at the end as well. So this is the front piece. Have a look. Um, I'm sure you will enjoy. I'm sure you will like. And um, you know, something different. And then I'll show you the back now. Yes. And I wanted my little tail. <laughs> so I decided to do it. So my dears, it doesn't matter how simple or how elaborate, I believe we should all wear what we love proudly, step confidently, some will like it, some will not, that's okay. For example, I always say Ralph Lauren have his lovers of his 
styles uh, Cristiano Syriano or Syrian Cristiano I guess you know him um, he have his people who loves his designs uh, carving clients of his people who love his design no matter what he saw they love it and so does Dali Van Rose so there will always be people who like that people love variety and I don't think any one of us should be afraid to showcase all variety to some people <laughs> and, to so, so, and to some people again wow for me it's wow I absolutely love it it's different it's it's not the conventional sort of you know work attire because like I said so many times you just see people in a, a little gray suit a little blue suit a little black suit <laughs> but i love to diversify so i sure hope you enjoyed this and i just want to show you guys um some school uniforms again that um parents haven't collected as yet because like i said um for the reopening of schools are they're doing it in i believe is it sequences hmm, let me get the right word they are doing it uh uh, standard by standard class by class uh, form by form so to, to avoid so much cluster right so I know that I showed you all the templates in a video to in a video prior to this one uh, I can't remember the name of the video but um, <laughs> my videos are there on my channel so you can go check it out um, I remember showing you uh, this template mm? and I I remember showing you the, the, the two colors I showed you the red one I showed you the blue one probably I should show you again for those of you who may have missed it so on certain days there were um, the different colors I believe I told you that the name of this school is Holy Cross Roman Catholic school, but we shorten it and say Holy Cross RC school. So on Mondays they were blue, Tuesdays they were the red, and on Thursday they, they, they were the orange, and on Friday they're gonna wear the green. So I present to you the orange today, right? In case you have missed it. When I <laughs> When I realized school is going to be open in the next two weeks, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of slowed up. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. <laughs> yes. And um, the name of this school is called Precious Jewels. I so love the name of this school because children are, are very precious in this. A truly a gift from God. Real beauties. And um, I sold for her last year and she was just a little tiny thing. And... It's like when I met her this year, she's like spring up. Oh, well, so we had to change measurements and everything. She has gotten taller. She has gotten some hip and some body. I tell you. So this is, this is the uniform they wear for precious jewels. And, um, I want to show you also, um, this is the, uh, for, this is the name of a school. It's located in Bylands, a place in Grenada called Bylands. Yeah, Bylands, like B Y E L A N D S. So Bylands. <laughs> um, I honestly can't remember the name of the school, but the boys wear moss green pants or moss green trousers, and um, this is no back pockets, only side pockets, and. Um, yeah, he has to come for a fit on and everything and um, whatever adjustments I'll do it for them and um, This is for a school called Tivoli it's for a school in a, in a place located in Grenada called Tivoli and the name of it is Tivoli RC school the kindergartens wear kimonos shaped like this so she's a really little tiny tort. Um, the same measurements, the parent instructed me, the same measurements that worked for last year is what is working for this year. Yes. And um, 
the name of this school, what's the name of this school? Ford what? Ford government? <laughs> I can't remember the name of this school, I'm sorry, but it's for a school located in Ford. And this is called a, a kimona. We call it kimonas in Grenada. And if you notice, they are sh different school, different shape. So if you notice, it's shaped different from this one. Right, so they're sisters and uh, the parents always support me. And uh, yeah, on the side, on the side, it's, it's fasteners. So the process of ironing, ironing, there's a little pocket inside. And the process of ironing, ironing, sorry, is really, really easy. You just rest it down, uh, put your piece of cloth on it and iron away. And I showed you this one unfinished the last time. It's for a school called McDonald College. And um, they were built, the loops and everything, they were the belt. And same process with the loops on the side. How do you call it? Hook and bars? Hook and bars, yeah. Uh, so it's very easy to, you do, you just open and iron. So I just want to express my thanks and gratitude to the parents for your wonderful, wonderful support. All those who like my videos, who give it a thumbs up, thank you so much. And all those who just watch, thank you for viewing. Thank you for every positive comment. Thank you for thank you on a whole for your really wonderful support it's greatly appreciated so guys last but not least i'd like to express my sincerest appreciation to all the clients who tipped me i'm so grateful thank you so much and um today i just want to say shout out to a very very special client who gave me a gift she gave me my tips in the form of a gift. I don't want to call her name because she's going to be all blushes. <laughs> but she knows who she is. Girl, I thank you so much. She came in and she felt sorry for me. I've had this notebook that I take measurements in since I started maybe about, uh, what, five, six, a couple of years ago. I had my, my treasure book. <laughs> my notebook <laughs> so it's falling apart on each time but it's like you know like a treasure book you know like something that means so much to you because I've had it since the inception of my business many years ago and this is my treasure book all the measurements in there all information you know of clients their phone numbers so it's falling apart and every time a client come in I'll say don't laugh at the treasure book and they'll be like i wouldn't laugh <laughs> so this one in particular she decided to buy me a new notebook i'm so grateful thank you so much now even though i put in the information in the computer on um you know is it even though i put it there i store it on the laptop it's easier to just have it in a notebook first like the old way so she found it necessary she bought a new notebook for me how do i look you know it's like right now <laughs> girlfriend thank you so much i'm so grateful and she also bought me Ta -da! She also bought me a nice little bowl to put my threads. I have this first one. It's almost filled to the top. And um, she walked in with this nice little bowl in her hands. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I like it. And she was like, she said, I'll buy one for you. I said, really? I really didn't, you know, <laughs> you know I didn't really put my mind on it right but a day she simply walked in and she carried it for me and i was like i say you bought it in truth i said i'm so so grateful so i just want to express thanks so the bigger threads i put in it and i set it down there very nice i absolutely love it and i'm absolutely i'm absolutely grateful 
grateful for it. So thank you so much, hon. I'm so appreciative. I'm so grateful. Thanks for joining me today, guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, tell me what you think. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Share it with the neighbor. Share it with the man walking down the road. Share with the woman who just passing. Just share it. <laughs> So thank you guys. Love you loads. See you next time. Guys, I got the name. The parent just walked in. The name of it is St. Mary's Roman Catholic School. Mm -hmm. But then we shorten it and say St. Mary's RC School. It's in Parkland. It's not in Fort. <laughs> so I was way off. <laughs> update, update, update. Jokes. <laughs> Listen. This school is not even in violence. This school is in right there in Grenville. They were at Paul's and then they moved to Grenville. The name of the school is Rainbow Junior Academy. So it's not, <laughs> it's not in violence. I was way off. So the parent now came and I asked and I got the answer for you guys. Thanks, bye. <laughs>